Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh, thanks for joining me. Well, today is not gonna be a funny one, nor a snarky one. It is going to be one that makes you very, very upset. Now, I know I am late to this whole story. The Shane Dawson debacle, the craziness. But the reason why I'm jumping on now is because he's decided he wants to exploit a child now. Two children, actually. Him and his husband are going to be exploiting these children that they had via surrogate, which I have my opinions about surrogacy, especially when it comes to famous rich people doing it and like renting out people's bodies because they can't, like, I don't, it's, I have opinions on it, but I'm not going to talk about that today. It's beside the point. But I don't know Shane Dawson. I know of him. I've heard of him. I know he's connected to Jeffree Star. I know that he was canceled for something, but now he's back making millions of dollars still. And so what you're going to see is me kind of going through all the videos I've downloaded and the Reddit forum and everything else. I'm kind of discovering this for the first time. And when I tell you, like when I look at the video, right, I want to blind react. So what I do is I get the video, I watch two seconds of it. I'm like, should I download this? And even the first two seconds of a lot of these videos, I'm like, I... I am sickened and flabbergasted that this is a thing that's going on. I know, again, I'll say it again, I'm late to this, like years late. But the reason he's on my radar now is because of what he's doing now. And all the things that I've discovered about him, there is no reason this guy should be having children. He should not be allowed to have children. He should be in prison, actually, is what he should be. He should be on watch lists, should be on no-fly lists. This guy is the most disgusting piece of shit on YouTube. Nick, I'm not trying not to swear. I, I know I've been trying to cut it up, but this video, there will be swearing. This video trigger warning trigger warning everything including child r including being a pluto including bestiality including everything you can include on any trigger list trigger warning everything shane dawson let's get to it So the first thing I did was I went over to the Shane Dawson Reddit to see what's going on over there. And there's a person that left this crazy list and some videos. And I downloaded those videos because, again, I like to blind react to these videos. Now, there's a couple of channels out there that compile videos about Shane Dawson. And, um, again, I've only watched two seconds of each of these just to see, just to see where it is. And I'm already speechless. Okay? So, again, trigger warning. This is me reacting to Shane Dawson and all of his YouTube and social media sins for the first time. You guys, a lot of, somebody, I, I don't know who said it, somebody messaged me and said, to watch that through someone's fresh eyes would be crazy because a lot of you know about Shane Dawson. A lot of you have been following it. I've even had some comments on my thread on my community page about how, like, leave him alone. Are you... There are people honestly out there who think Shane Dawson deserves redemption or can have redemption, or deserves a second chance. When you see the things that I've seen only the first two seconds of a couple of these things, I dare you to say that. You're out of your effing mind if you think this person deserves to be on the internet, one, but second, deserves to be raising children? Get ready. Holy shit. All of the footage comes from Shane's now deleted series of video called Orgy Time. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Viewer Orgy. Is this I guess this was filmed during the time emo was popular. Time. Now, I know what you're thinking, Shane, what is this? I don't know if I want to be involved. I'm underage. I'm tired. My vagina hurts. Listen, all of the above for me, too. But this isn't really sex. Okay. And you have to understand, and from what I understand, <laughs> is that his audience was mainly teenagers because adults aren't watching this garbage, this cringe lord stuff. Not really. Like, it's teenagers watching this stuff. Kids. And he knows who his audience is, and he knew who his audience was back then. And he did this on purpose. Shane Dawson is a Pluto. There's no other way to put this after watching five seconds or reading anything into this guy. He's literally a Pluto and has admittedly said it. And he has admitted it himself that he is. Basically, all week I'm going to be asking you guys funny random questions on Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, Daily Booth, Say Now, YouTube, X-Peeps. X-Peeps? Anybody? Nobody knows what that is? Okay, I'm a pervert. Yeah, you are a pervert. And the thing is, is that he says funny random questions is what he's asking people. These aren't funny random. They're random, random predator questions is what he should have said. Not funny. They're not funny. Because these are children answering. Just, oh, sorry, just watch. Since every single joke in this video involves at least one actual real life child, there's going to be a lot of blurring. I'm the one doing the blurring, not Shane. The captions are all messaged. The captions are all messages the girls sent along with their pictures. All right, on Daily Booth, I asked you guys to show me your best porno move. Here's some of the sexiest ones I could find. Now that 
is talent. Sorry, there's a description. Fist in mouth. The boys loved this in fifth grade. I could never figure out why till now is what the caption says. It's a child. Talent. Wow. If I could do that. Flexible Sarah. This I would probably never leave my room. Ooh, baby. Don't. If you want an unedited version, just say the word. Don't tease me. <laughs> oh, God. Do you think I could get my account deleted for asking these kind of questions? See, here's the thing. He's aware of how predator he is. He he's aware, but he he apparently he enjoyed just getting away with it all and knew it and was being this way on purpose. But at the same time, from the overflow of what this guy was joking about is what he actually feels. This was, the, in my opinion, YouTube and social media became Shane Dawson's outlet for his intrusive thoughts, the intrusive thoughts that most people keep in their head. This guy probably, you know, if he didn't get on YouTube, probably would have ended up like a serial killer. I'm not even, like I, I, I the, he knows. He's aware, very self-aware. Oh, I'm a pervert. Oh, you know, this and that. He is, he knows that he's a pervert. Okay? And he, he puts it out there, but he found it, he found an outlet as that pervert that paid him. And YouTube and everybody made it possible for him to be paid for it. The worst is when I get pictures from like 10 year olds who are really getting into it. I don't want to put those on this video because I don't, I don't think I can. Either way, I'll see you in hell. Just knowing that he has pictures like this because he asked for them and kids sent them and then he admitted that he had pictures from 10-year-olds, he should be on an FBI watch list just for that alone. How is this guy not in jail? How has his hard drives not been captured? What happened? How did he get away with this? Okay, so on Daily Booth, I asked you guys to show me your best rape face. That was the day I was on a lot of Vicodin. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was on a lot of drugs that day, so I asked people to send me a rape face. I know you couldn't get away with this now, but you could back then, sort of. I guess you could. I mean, clearly you could, because he did it. But this is what made this guy famous, everybody. I think he's had 16 million f followers. I'm like, still does. This is what made him famous. This is what he made money doing. And uh, it can only be kids who are watching this, because adults would not watch this. <laughs> Sounded like a fun game at the time. Let's look at some of the fun pictures. Oh, ooh, she... MH my mouth so wide open I think I can eat Shane or you all He's done this before I'm guessing by this picture Get at it big dog She likes to be right I don't know Whoa Okay why is Emily Osment from Hannah Montana I love you Shaney Pooh They're trying to get me to suck her dick Here are this week's sexy bitches Wearing their Shane Dawson shirts Damn These are children If y'all weren't under age You know what I would do <laughs> All right, now it's time for Shane Dawson's sexy shirt time. Ooh, hey, got some sausages in the house. Holla. It's always cool to see an underage guy wearing my shirt. I'd rather see the shirt on my bedroom floor. So w let's just repeat what he just said. That was cool seeing an underage guy wear my shirt, but I'd rather see that shirt on my bedroom floor. Like a just that sentence right there, gone. YouTube should have demonetized this stuff. This guy is actively being a Pluto on the internet, saying the things you can't say. That's a little illegal what he's saying. These are the thoughts that he is saying. These are the intrusive thoughts that are in his head that he's putting out and he's safe to do so because social media allowed him to do it. I'm just kidding. He's not kidding. I'd rather see the underwear on the floor. All right. Then he said, I'd rather see his underwear on the floor. This is a person talking about a minor, a minor male. Just kidding, I'd rather see his underwear on the floor. This is, I'm, and he still, the thing is, every time you hear something that makes you angry, like I just made me angry right there, imagine though now he's still on the internet making millions of dollars after saying and behaving this way. And last but not least, our sexy Shane Dawson shirt time right now. Damn, y'all are looking. They're children, they're kids, they're literally children. Extra spicy today. Ooh. Mm. How's this guy not getting his ass beat in real life is my question. A picture of me. A picture of Dakota Fanning. A picture of me behind Dakota Fanning without her knowing it. A picture of Dakota Fanning with her eyes gouged out my fingers in her mouth. A restraining order stating that I can't be within 150 feet of Dakota Fanning. A letter I wrote to Dakota telling her that nothing can get in the way of our love. Not even a restraining order ordered by the court of... All right, time. Time for the Say Now message of the week, and surprisingly enough, it comes from the one and only Miley Cyrus. Hey, uh, my little sister wants to do you in the butt, just saying. Bye. Hey Noah, you can't do me in the butt till you're 18. Call me when you can legally buy a strap on. I'll be waiting.
Another channel called Teabag released this video about Shane Dawson being iffy for nine minutes straight. Guys, again, trigger warning because it gets worse than what you just saw. I, mean, I know, could it, how could it possibly get worse? I promise you it gets worse, okay? Especially if you're, uh, if you hate people that hurt animals. Oh, Willa. Oh, I'll whip your hair back and forth. Oh. This person now is in charge of two little humans. He is a father. He's not. He's a piece of shit who literally just hired somebody to have babies. And this guy's husband is okay with the past? Like, I could, like, look. No, I can't. Even if the, any one of these things is unforgivable, any one of them. But at the same time, okay, like you could say, I was a cringe lord. I made tons of money doing the cringe lord stuff. I'm not that way anymore. And that person is like, there's no, you don't see the red, I guess his husband's name is Ryland. You don't see the red flags. You decided to have a relationship with this guy and children with a Pluto. So my opinion, I don't know anything about Ryland. I've known, I know nothing. I know just as much as I knew about Shane Dawson. Okay. And the fact that you're going to dangerously put children in the care of this guy and the fact that the world lets this happen and there are people celebrating his children, like congratulations, this guy does not deserve to be around children. What he deserves is a punch in the face and to be thrown down a well and never found ever again. Do you know what I mean? This person needs to be in prison at the very minimum. And Jada Pinkett Smith came in on it Whoa. to Shane Dawson. I'm done with excuses. And is there more? What do you mean you're done with excuses? I hope he got sued. I hope he had a put on a watch list. I hope he got, uh, like, I don't care. You don't ever joke about something. That kid was in that poster, I think, 10? Something, and he's pretending to jerk off on a 10-year-old. Right there alone. Just that video probably was one of the ones that really got him canceled for, like, three months or whatever he got canceled for, two and a half months. Um, right there should have been the video that got him canceled forever. But I think he got canceled for maybe a year. Maybe. The fact that he actually came back and that still has fans is crazy to me. Anyway, I hope he's on a watch list of some kind after that. Shane Dawson, I'm disgusted by you sexualizing 11-year-old girl who happens to be my sister. Is the furthest thing from funny and not okay in the slightest bit. Good for Jaden for speaking out. Yeah, yeah. I love you too. Can you twerk for us? I know twerking is insane. So Shane goes on Omegle, talks to a stranger. A stranger says they love him. And instead of just saying anything, he's like, twerk for us. And he's filming it with his mother there. Oh, I love you too. Oh, I love you too. No, shut up and twerk. This is Shane's mom. You're disgusting too, piece of shit. Maybe she can't hear us. Hear it. Okay, okay. Twerk for us. <laughs> oh my gosh. If your first inclination is when you meet a minor fan is to tell them to do a sexualized dance for you while you film it, jail. Immediately jail. Oh, Here we go. Oh, yeah. 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 When you're wondering where Shane gets his Pluto ness from, apparently his mom is one too. Yeah, and tell her to show herself. Do you think maybe something happened with him growing up? Perhaps? <laughs> okay, that's where you draw the line though. That's where you draw the line there, Shane's mom. Love you. Um. As a grown man, he should have known that his jokes weren't okay. Not jokes. Again, this is an outlet for Shane's intrusive thoughts to have a place where he could put them. Because I guess if you, p you keep them pent up or something, you'd probably become a serial killer. I guess YouTube's better than killing people. I realized uh, a few days ago I was with Lisa and we ran into a child. I'm not going to say why or how, but we ran into <laughs> like, a child. Like in your, wait, hold on. In your with car, my car, I hit like, the child. The child. Okay. It was dying on the side of the road. Okay, and I right. said, oh, I should probably ask what its name is. Uh -huh. No, but this child was probably six years old, and um, I was taking a picture of something, and the kid turns to me and goes, oh, are you Instagramming? And first of all, how does a five-year-old, six-year-old know what Instagram is? Right. Which is terrifying. Mm -hmm. Second of all... That's the terrifying thing, Shane? That's the... I mean, agree with you, but that's what you find terrifying? Not your behavior? Well, I was embarrassed because, yes, I was, and it was a picture of my salad. <laughs> So then, oh, the yeah, I saw it. Looked amazing. And the six-year-old girl goes, um, "Oh, how many followers do you have?" I mean, first of all, it was almost like one of those contests where it's like, "How big is your dick?" And this kid slapped his huge, her huge dick on the table and was like, "A six is, is, He's talking about a six-year-old, everybody. And there are people out there thinking he deserves a second chance. Like, oh, he already talked about all this, so let him be. Are you kidding me? 
If someone in your family, in your circle, said any of these things, would you be around them? Would you be like, oh, you deserve a second chance? Are you kidding me? Who goes, oh, I have 125,000. No. Her dick was almost as big as mine. Really? And I said, okay, little big dick, why do you have so many followers? And she goes, oh, I'm a cheerleader. And I'm like, oh, really? And she shows me her Instagrams, which are like, first of all, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but like, she's like sexy. He just called a six-year-old sexy. A six-year-old. And he's not being hes not being a cringe lord here. He's not in there trying to elicit a response. He's saying this in a conversation with another person. He's being truthful here. He's saying it. He says a six-year-old is sexy. Now, Shane is a very famous predator. But I'm telling you this. Everly LeBrant and everybody else have their shit. Like their parents put them on, have cheerleading and dancing. These are the guys looking at your profiles and saying that your little girl is sexy. Just so you're aware. There are guys just like him. Millions of them. And he's bold enough to just say it outright. And that's why you don't put your kids on the internet. You're disgusting. I know. Listen, we've talked about pedophilia no, no, this before. Is the, Shane, like. Okay, so it makes it okay? Like, do not say this. And, like, I don't even want to talk about it. Like, you will get arrested. <laughs> Like he, should have been arrested and she's like and you know don't get me i don't know who this girl is but she's like oh don't stop 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 but you put it in the video you still put it on the podcast so she this girl if she made money doing this stuff she literally made money off of pluto entertainment kind of can, listen he, he allegedly has justification, justification for pedophilia okay. and it's so disturbing and like i, I just pretend that he doesn't <laughs> okay, wait, no, like, no let me explain let no. me explain there's no explaining after this you jack wagon dickhole. Oh, God. Here's my justification for pedophilia. I can't. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's hear this. So, again, just that. Any, take any phrase that he's ever said. The soon as someone says, here's my justification for pedophilia, you need to get your ass kicked. You need to be in jail. You need to get your... I can't say this enough. You need to be away from humans. You need to be gone. First of all, let me just say... Having sex with children or touching children or anything of that nature is terrible and sure. you should not do it. But, 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 here's my thing. People have foot fetishes. People have fetishes about, you know, everything. And there's websites. Is he just to justify because people have fetishes, they can have fetishes about children? Is that what he's supposed to, is he about to say this out loud on a microphone for the world to hear and now has children? on the internet where they can look at that weird creepy shit and jerk off to it okay fine everybody do your thing so why is it when somebody looks at a google's like naked baby on google and jerks off to it they can get arrested because, i don't understand because that. there's a you don't understand pedophilia you don't understand you you and this guy after saying what you just heard is still on the fucking internet. Naked ba because they had to because somebody took a picture of a naked baby. But and they don't. And then by the way, they're not googling naked baby. They're googling like I'm not going to say what they're googling. I mean, I watch a lot. How do you know? A lot in order. Here's so like, the worst part of it. I actually went to Google and I'm like, oh God. I want to see. You can get arrested. I don't know, but I didn't want to see child porn. But I just wanted to see like okay. Let me just pretend, let me pretend like I'm a pedophile for a sec. Okay. He is, and he's saying it out loud, and he, and the more you joke about it, like, and if you just did this one-off in passing because you think you're funny and you're a comedian, still terrible, but okay. Okay? But everything this guy has done up to this point that we've seen, all the problem next stuff, there's no way around this. His intrusive thoughts are that he is a Pluto, and he puts it on the internet and was celebrated and made millions doing it. And Jeffree Star was like, the, I think was this guy's best friend or something. I don't even know. Like, imagine knowing this guy has said all these things, has these thoughts in their head. It's like the embodiment of Hollywood, by the way. These guys who live in these worlds where they're filthy rich from YouTube. They're famous on the internet. They live together. They know that each other, like, so imagine if Jeffree Star's hanging out and think this guy's cool. That They probably all joked about all this stuff altogether. This is the type of person is why Jeffrey Epstein did what he did. For the record, the police, I have nothing to do with this. I didn't know this. Like, you can literally get arrested for saying I know, this. Let me, let me. I know. Let's keep talking about it, though. So I typed in Naked Baby. First of all, I don't understand why anybody would be turned on by that. But. That's the first good thing. Don't say but. Say no. But. 
sexy. He's just called a, t- a toddler, baby, naked baby, sexy. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, back to the Instagram. You're not kidding. Um, so I look at this little girl's pictures, and she had makeup on. She had her tongue out. She was doing, like, the peace sign. She was doing a backflip. And one of them, she, ha- she was in the shape of a pretzel, and she put hashtag no filters, hashtag pretzel. I mean, like, I'm not making this up. Why are you laughing Why about this? Why are children... Was she really six or was she, like, nine? She was six. She must have been, like, ten. No, I asked her. Her bio on Instagram is, I'm six, bitch. Stop it. No, so why... Oh, first of all... Is she, like, honey boo-boo? Was she bad? No, she was, like, the skinny little sexy six-year-old. <laughs> the amount of times he's calling a six-year-old sexy is actually crazy. And the fact that he's still on the internet. <laughs> All right, can we please move on? No, so that's my other. This girl's why, like doesn't want to talk about it, Archie. but I don't care. She stayed and talked about it. Children having Instagrams, and why do they almost have as many followers as I do? That's your UGG. Mine is. Okay, fine. Move on. But I'm seriously. I I'm, don't know. I don't want any. I'm all getting out of it. It's 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 it's, uh, it's disturbing. On some of the, by the way, they're all your followers, probably. Like they're all. That's who's following. Them. See, she just admitted it. Uh-huh. No. Maybe. Oh my god. Hashtag yum. But, oh, I would molest kids on my street. <laughs> um, and that's another thing that they say that kids who are abused, sexually abused, do. Like, I would, like, make kids on my street, like, take their pants off and I'd spank them. Or, so he's admitting that he was sexually abused. Like, do weird shit to them. And it didn't feel weird at the time, but looking back, I'm like, Ew. I was, yeah. like, molesting kids. I was well, a kid, how, too. Your, were they your peers? Yeah. I was probably, you know, eight, and they were seven or something. Right. And I apologized to them. I found them on Facebook. I'm like, sorry for molesting you. Did they like, remember? They're like, one of them did. One of them was like, yeah, that's why my family made me stop hanging out with you. Holy crap, man. People excuse this clip? This is true. Whoever wrote this is smart. This is he carried this in adolescence. He was clearly abused as a child, and is now an abuser. That's what he does. Like there's some there's stuff that hasn't come out about this guy. Like 100. percent I can't believe that he was allowed to do all these things on the internet and wasn't watched and put away for forever. Do you think? Do you think this guy has like non-disclosure agreements with specific people? Give me a caption for this picture. Is this picture considered child porn? I don't think so, right? It's only child porn if you can, like, see a penis. Either way, I'm totally printing it out and taping it on my bathroom mirror. You know, just for... inspiration. Like... I don't even, like, I don't even, can even consider thinking things like this, right? And so, in order to have this joke, it has to be processed through your brain, right? So, he's thinking about these things. That's the thing here. Like, these aren't just intrusive thoughts. These are the thoughts that he actually thinks about and puts them out there on the internet and thinks it's funny. But he's not, he doesn't, like, he knows he's being cringe or whatever you want to call it. But he, these are the thoughts that he has. These are true thoughts. These are the overflow of his thoughts. And nobody saw a problem for years and years and years. See, let's get real. That's so embarrassing. We want to know. We have a question. What is it? Very important question. And you don't need to feel shy about it. No, really? <laughs> what a f... This kid, this looks, kid looks like he's 10 years old. And he's exploring her on the internet. It's really? natural. It's natural. Is there anybody around? No? It's natural. <sighs> Is there anybody here? He just asked if anybody was around. Do you feel like your age? <laughs> yeah. Do we want to talk to you? We want to explain what sex is to you. Is he... Is this... This isn't his child, obviously. Who, who is this kid he's talking to have a sex talk with? We did get real quick. Yeah. Oh, where's the other peep? We should probably oh, explain. Yeah, we'll just use <laughs> these peeps. Okay, well, one peep and then we'll use you. Oh. Okay, so... Oh, my God. I'll just God. pretend like that's, you know... I mean, that works. Let's see, this happens. Oh, my gosh. And he put this on the internet and he was and the internet was fine with this? She's putting it up her skirt in front of a 10-year-old or whatever that... She didn't even look 10. See, oh. <laughs> ah. And then and then you're so happy when you're an adult. I can't believe I'm endorsing this. <laughs> Is that girl in jail? 
Oh, this was 12 year old cousin. Are you crazy? Uh, good job, Lucy. But next time, shake your titties more. And you, take off the jacket and show more. Good job over there. Hey, what's up, you guys? So it is family day, and like every family day... I told a 12-year-old to shake her. Hey, it's full of emotional eating. And Lucy, I checked my statistics, and I have a lot of child molesters watching, so can you please eat a cocktail weenie? Oh, my. And she laughs about this? Like, uh, <laughs> who is this kid? And I hope that she's in therapy and, and, and escape from this guy. Now... Here's the thing, you guys didn't, you, you didn't, hope you didn't miss it. He's like, I know a lot of pedophiles watch me, so please eat a cocktail, Winnie. And this, again, I, I know you guys, <laughs> this is actually what family vloggers do. You know that Ren, TikTok Ren channel? I've done a couple videos on her. She does that. She puts her kid eating a hot dog or a carrot or something. Anybody who has their kids eating or has their mouth open on a thumbnail, the reason they do that, because of the thing he's joking about, is because they get more views because of it. I kid you not. Just go look for yourself. I wish you wouldn't, but sometimes you just have to, right? Go look at TikTok Ren and all the videos of her eating, how many more saves it has in the other videos. Look at uh, White's Life or any of these channels that have kids with their mouth on the channel or talking about or periods, bras, whatever. Look at the crazy amount of views they get because of those things. It's undeniable. It's inarguable. And he's joking about it, but it's the actual truth. And he's a Pluto. Do it slow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do it slow. Oh. And she does it. Like, where are her parents? Where are her parents? If this was my daughter, apparently it's his sister or her brother's kid, I would knock you the F out. You would be knocked out cold. You would never come around my family ever again. You would be, it would be over, dude. I can't believe this girl's parents let her do this. Oh, I like that that chocolate, that weenie. Ooh, it tastes so good. Do like an Asian, like. Yeah. You got the question wrong. You know what that means. Yeah. <gasps> Make a noise in town, walking fast, faces passing home. Time to see some hot, sexy bitches wearing my hot topic shirts. Damn. Oh, if I Justine wasn't watching, I would rape all of you. Alright, <clears throat> number one, he thinks he's a kid, right? Like, you thought he was five years old. Like, that was his thing. I saw him on TV talking about it all the time. I was, he feels like he's five. So, basically, he's five years old mentally, right? But, sexually, he's 50. He still has a penis. And it still wants to play. So it's like... Five-year-old. It, there's a weird, like, link missing where it's like, I'm five years old, but I, I'm horny. But I find other five-year-olds sexually attractive because I'm five years old, too. So let's have sex. So it kind of makes sense to me, um, even though it's horrible and I don't think molesting children is good, it kind of makes sense to me why he actually molests children. And um, that's kind of how I feel with it. Guys. With a Latino version of the girl from Paramore. <laughs> How old is you anyway? 13. You're 13, okay. Then he sniffed her. Look, this is endless. If you go to this Shane Dawson site, it is endless the things he did. In a video with a 16 year old boy hadn't hadn't hit puberty, Trisha paid his, Trisha points out that Shane is wearing a shirt that says "Blow Me," which Shane points at the boy and makes a trumpet sound in imitation. Shane gasps and says "Blowjob Challenge" thumbnail and proceeds to bend over, putting his head in the boy's direction in his lap. Trisha, and this is Trisha Paytas, everybody. Trisha Paytas is a disgusting piece of shit too. Just so you guys are aware, I know people like think that she's had her redemption arc because she had kids. Nope. Just like Shane Dawson, Trisha doesn't get to be forgiven of her past. She is creepy and disgusting as well. Trisha asks who would do better lap dance, the minor or Shane? The minor says, we're not doing this. And Shane smiles and raises his eyebrows at the camera. Trish thinks the minor would as they have dance off early. The minor gets up and starts dancing, bends over in Shane's direction. Shane smiles and his eyes widen looking at his behind. Then comments on his underwear, pulling the minor's underwear up and looking at them, commenting on his underwear. Trish then asks him how much of the minor fit in his mouth. Shane asks, can you fit your fist in your mouth? 
then actions for him to do it. Trisha then attempts, then Shane, then the miner tries, and Shane says, you got to really stick it in there. Yeah, I'll show you later. The miner then gasps. Shane then says to the miner, I do actually have my lube coming out. Okay. All this, guys, you know, I'm obviously going to continue to cover this complete and utter just disgusting piece of shit. So I know this is a longer video, but there. So I'm now educated in a tiny minuscule amount of probably what Shane Dawson has done wrong on the internet, okay? And that's just me doing five seconds of research. Five seconds. Anybody can find out what he has done because it lives on the internet forever because he is a Pluto and he got away with it for so many years. I'm sure there's an apology video out there about how he's like, I didn't mean to. I'm sure I'll cover that too. And I know I'm late, but I don't care. I'm covering it. Okay, uh, the, there's people out there who know every intimate detail of everything he's ever done and has followed this because of the drama and everything of it all. And I'm sure you're just as flabbergasted as I am is how this guy is able to do a video like this, the birth of our sons. So this guy went from being complete in other Pluto and telling everybody that he was. Saying the thing out loud, it's almost like a cry for help, to be honest with you. That's what it sounded like to me. Like he wanted people to know he was, he was doing probably disgusting things. Like killers, like people who do these things, they, 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 they flirt with the idea of getting caught. They want to. It's almost like an internal cry for help. And nobody arrested this guy? Nobody? And to this day, we see videos of him still around children. And now he has two children. Not only that, and he's a Pluto and he has kids, but they're exploiting these children on the internet. And, everybody's, and there are people out there congratulating him on this. Hello, you guys. <laughs> This effing douchebag here, Ryland, you know the person you're with, right? Like, I know that people are like, well, you know, the things happen. You don't marry a Pluto. <laughs> it has been a wild, well, three and a half weeks for us, probably four weeks by the time you're seeing this. Shane just edited this birth vlog. Shane? I don't know how this guy did not get his ass kicked. I have no idea how he survived and like being around in public and people knew who he was. Because he, you really are so talented when it comes to editing. And I wanted to make, if we were posting this, I wanted your touch to be on this. But we just want... That's the wrong phrasing for anything with Shane Dawson. I wanted to jump in beforehand to kind of preface a few things. Also, if I get emotional, it's because... His tiny hands. Like a carny. I literally just edited a montage and I'm just such a baby with that stuff. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah. Yeah, so I wanted to kind of talk about why I had a change of heart. I haven't fully had a change of heart. I think. So uh, I think what he's saying is because I, I, some people have been asking me to cover this for a while that they said they weren't going to exploit their child to show the kid on the internet. Their kids, I guess. And I was like, I wanted to explain why I had a change of heart. I want to explain like I want to exploit my child to make money. Okay, I don't think that Shane needs the money. I think that Shane, the money was side to the, to the, again, the outlet for his intrusive thoughts, for his pedophilia. And it was a place that he felt safe to do so, and apparently was. Okay, cancellation is not enough for this person. It's not enough. He absolutely needs to be investigated. Every interaction he's ever had with any minor in his past needs to be investigated because a lot of them are probably ashamed. Okay. From somebody who was essayed as a child and has in around my life, the shame is real. Okay, the shame is absolutely real. And so there are probably people in his past that likely have signed things, which is illegal, by the way. They're not legally binding. If you're out there and you know that you've signed something because Shane told you to sign or his lawyers did, not legally binding, especially when it comes to something if it's an illegal behavior. Okay? But talk to a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer. Um, but the shame is real. There are people in his past that have never spoken about anything that have happened. And he knows that they're out there and for some reason is still protected by that. Okay, so what now he's trying to do is justify exploiting other children. Moving forward after this I video, can't believe I, this guy exists. And we've talked about it. We're kind of going to not really show them too much. I think this video. But here we are going to show them. Kind of started out as home videos. Like I wanted to film things for Jet and Max when they grow up. For us to look back at too. Yeah, this is a f Family Vlogger book, page 37. We're filming so that we have memories for the internet. Don't put it on the internet then, buttholes. Don't put it on the internet. You don't need to. Film it? Sure, we all do it. Doesn't need to be on the internet for millions of people to watch. Trisha Pate ass said the same thing. Every 
family vlogger, every child exploiter has said this exact phrase. All of them have said it. And then they justify like, we wanted to film it, so why not just share it with the rest of the world? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. A huge moment in all four of our lives. Yeah. And I think as I was... Oh my gosh. I'm just so sad for these kids because what I just researched for five seconds and found, those kids and their friends are going to find that. Those kids and their spouses, they're going to find that. Those kids' teachers are going to find that. Every person those kids come in contact with, if they know that your parent is Shane Dawson, they're going to find that. This is not going to escape. He's not going to be able to escape his disgustingness in the internet. It is forever. And these people, the one thing they could have done to protect these children, the one effing thing they could have done, was just not mentioned that they had kids to begin with. I mean, maybe it'll come out eventually. It doesn't matter. They're not like you can't, they're not pregnant. So they're not that they can, they could have had their kids, which they shouldn't, but they could have and not told anybody or not exposed these children to the internet at all. He is going to completely regret all the things he did. But again, he is a predator, right? He's, this isn't something that he just, you can see it in his like whole appearance in his life. That the fact that he's not allowed to be a predator on the internet anymore is absolutely eating him up. Look what he looks like. Looks like he hasn't showered in 10 years. He is no longer allowed to put out his intrusive thoughts on the internet freely and safely, and it is eating him alive that he can't. This is what happens when these creepy, disgusting pieces of shit have to internalize everything. It shows in their looks, in their behaviors, in their whole demeanor, because he didn't have that escape. Didn't have the release. But the one thing these guys could have done was protected these children by not exposing them, their names, anything on the internet. And they did it. And now those kids are going to suffer the sins of his, their parents. They don't even have the wherewithal to protect these kids that they say that they love. They don't give a shit. YouTube should demonetize every effing video with children in it. Looking at all the footage and putting it together. And maybe I, I don't think I'm going to regret this because I've got so many signs from God and the universe that this is okay. So I... You've gotten signs from God? that this in the universe that this is okay to exploit children folks i didn't know this was going to go this long i didn't know i am absolutely just super flabbergasted right now i'm actually i have anxiety i have i've, I've peaked in my anxiety to, I, I don't know how to explain this but like i'm like my fight or flight response right now is kicking in so hard right now i'm gonna take a break okay i'm gonna just have to go for a walk take some breaths um chill out I probably shouldn't have been drinking coffee while doing this but i'm gonna come back for part two to cover this the rest of this video okay because like yeah uh, uh, this is why trigger warnings exist but someone like this and then they're out here sitting here with this with this soft music playing in the background where they're about to expose their kids on the internet from his sins and his tiny little hands these kids are now going to suffer in probably more ways than just being on the internet their dad is literally a confessed pluto and they were allowed to have children Okay, CAS at the minimum should be called right now. And if CAS comes in and investigates his past, these children should be taken away from them. And I don't, I don't care what anybody says about that. I don't care if you think that that's mean. Do you think so? Good. Good. I, it is mean. This guy is a literal Pluto, admittedly, on the internet multiple times and in things that we don't even know about yet. And should not have kids. Does that make it like abuse? It's abusive. That this guy is an admitted person that does these things to children, has done them to children. And I missed the one thing that I read about earlier. He literally was on a podcast talking about spreading his cat's legs and, and dry humping it until he came on his cat. The bestiality is there too. All the things that we know about Shane. And he can say, I was just joking, whatever, it doesn't matter, you put it on the internet. You don't deserve kids, I need to be taken away and put in a safe environment. Okay. So everybody, please, please, please take a huge breath with me right now. It's very important that we take a massive breath, okay? A big, big, big breath. Breathe in. Breathe it out. Take that breath. I don't even have to say at the end of this thing. I, 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 I just, we're going to come back to part two. We're going to discuss it a little bit more. Please come back tomorrow for more. We'll talk to you soon, okay? I'll see you tomorrow.